everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, back again with my friend uh, Sherman. Uh, he had a bottle of Knob Creek Quarter Oat, one that I have not had uh, the opportunity to try yet. Makes two so, of us. Yeah, this one was in the, uh, the allocation uh, from last year. It was in the allocation from last year, and I really wanted to try it. I just never pulled the trigger on it, but uh, Sherman was nice enough. He said, hey, let's do that one. Said, Hell yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get it open. And you remember, do you remember what I told you last yeah, time about? Yeah, it's real brittle. Yeah. And you got to clean up the mess after you get it. Well, like the newer <laughs> ones, like this one, since it's a fairly new bottle. Okay. It's not going to be as brittle. It's not going to be as brittle. Okay. So, like, you see the top comes yeah. straight off. popped up. But, like, uh, you've got uh, an older Booker's up there mm -hmm. from 2018. Like, the longer it sits, the more brittle that wax is going to get. Okay. But, yeah, well, it's the same wax, mm -hmm. but they put a stamp on this one. Okay. So, I'm not really sure. It says a portion of our bourbons is rested in quarter cask barrels and married with Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Do you know what happens? Do you know why they put them in a quarter cask barrel? I don't know why. I just know that they're not filled up all the way. They're only filled. Yeah, they look. They, uh, I put like they're not topped off or. Yeah, like it's most not. Most barrels are. I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they fill them all up completely, mm -hmm. but with a quarter size barrel, mm -hmm. um, you get a you get a greater spill a little bit. You get a greater uh, surface area to contact with mm -hmm. whiskey. Okay. So whereas like a, a 53 gallon barrel or whatever size they are, you have a lot more whiskey inside this barrel. So a lot of it, the majority of that whiskey is not touching the wood. Okay. So with a smaller barrel, you have more contact, uh, more more whiskey contacting the barrel versus like a much bigger barrel. Okay. So it actually, you have, uh, if you look at some some Texas distilleries. I, I, I don't think I have any Texas distilleries up there, and we live in Texas. Yeah. So a lot of Texas distilleries use use smaller barrels because mm -hmm. they can mature that whiskey a lot quicker. So I've got I've got several uh, whiskeys from Balconis, uh, and previously I know they're start I think they're starting to trade out their smaller barrels for bigger barrels. Okay. But right now uh, or previously they used to use like 15 gallon barrels. If you have a 15 gallon barrel and you set it out in the Texas heat for a year and a half, that whiskey is going to be almost black because it just it just soaks it up so quick mm -hmm. and with the, the temperature changes that we have in Texas I mean it can go from 30 to 70 degrees yeah. I mean you can have a 40 degree uh, uh, temperature change in mm -hmm. one day so that's gonna have a lot of effect okay. on that whiskey mm -hmm. so it just speeds up the maturation plus you get some extra flavors okay so, I don't know how much it's going to change this Knob Creek, but I'm going to I'm <laughs> looking forward to finding out. It's going to find out. Oh, it's got a little. Yeah. It's got a little heavier presence mm -hmm. than a normal Knob Creek. Which I don't know very much about Knob Creek because this will probably be only the second knob I've had. Oh. <laughs> hey. It's, it's only it's only the second knob he's ever put in his mouth. <laughs> Oh, slim that's dog. A, that's a, Do you the you, didn't I? I was waiting on it. <laughs> Just waiting on it. This has a little hint of... I mean, I like, like a little knob in my mouth from time to time. <laughs> yeah. No, it's got, it definitely got uh, hints of uh, like caramel, like vanilla. Caramel, and vanilla. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Maybe a hint of banana, maybe. Just a little, I don't know. Mm -hmm. you know, a little spice to it. Yeah, it's got a. Uh, it's got much more like uh, barrel notes on the oh, palate yeah. versus a normal Knob Creek. Oh yeah. It's got a. It's got a heavier presence. Ooh yeah. Yeah. You it's can taste good. that barrel. The, yeah. The, it's kind of a little oakiness with a little yeah. heavy, a heavy spice, not heavy spice, but a little heaviness with some spice to it. Yeah. Uh, 
That's pretty good though. It's smooth. Oh, I, I think I actually like this one better. That's pretty than the, good. Uh, the run of the mill knob creep. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of knob. Do you got any uh, knob crate single barrel? Uh, let's see here. Uh, the only one I have uh, is, is the 12. 12. Um, well, whenever you get a chance, man, like go pick you up a knob creek single barrel. Yeah, all I have is Booker's. That's the same, same juice. Same juice, but yeah. I mean, I've got Booker's and those two knobs. I don't have any other, I other knob you. creeks. Those are the only two I have. Only two knobs for you. Only two. Two's no, it's a, I actually, uh, I like the, the the heavier presence that it has because normally, like a, a normal, uh, the, the regular 100 proof knob creek, uh -huh. it's to me it's lighter on the palate. It's really sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like a, uh, a toffee bomb. Okay. Like uh, almost like caramel toffee or mm -hmm. whatever. Super sweet. This one has a, a heavier, like you said, oaky presence. Yeah. Compared to the the other one. Smells delicious. Tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting a hint of uh, a look like a, some maple now on the nose, like mm -hmm. a a maple syrup twist to it now that I've drank some and it kind of opened me up just a little bit. But man, that's that's interesting. I think I'm getting like the graham crackers. Yeah, graham I can crackers see that. on the palate. Yeah, like a uh, almost like a. Uh, what is it, s'mores? Mm. Almost like you're making s'mores. Yeah. Or you maybe even toast the graham crackers with a little bit of char. Yeah. You get that char from the marshmallow with the graham cracker. That's kind of what I'm getting right yeah. there. It's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. What's but, the uh, age statement on this? Is there man, an age or is, there, is it? There's no age young? statement on this one, but more often than not, uh, most Knob Creeks, well, like the Knob Creek single barrel mm -hmm. is aged for nine years. Most of these are around six to eight. Okay. Now, this is probably a six to eight year old bourbon, mm -hmm. and then they they uh, finished a portion of it in those quarter quarter barrels. Okay. Uh, so it's probably around seven, okay. seven years old, okay. give or take, because uh, most bookers now are aged between six and seven years. Oh, okay. They're super young. Yeah. Yeah. Which. I recently did my uh, my best of Jim Beam for 2019, mm -hmm. and I picked the the Booker's, Booker's. the 2019-04 batch okay. over the other batches, over mm -hmm. the other limited releases that Jim Beam came out with. So. Okay. I mean, I like Knob Creek. Yeah, I I hadn't had it a whole lot. I knew that you were a big Knob fan. Um, he really is a big Knob fan, literally, but. I knew that you liked almost, it. Almost spit whiskey on <laughs> you. I knew that you liked it, and uh, well, I like a good knob. I mean, come on now. If you don't like knob in your mouth, I mean, what what are you doing with your life? Come on. Well, you, I, I didn't even know that you really liked it, and then uh, when I saw you that night, we were at a buddy's house. He had that get together when we watched yeah, the yeah, Texas yeah, yeah. game, and you had. You had some knob with you, and, yeah. And you were telling me that's all you—that's your your go-to drinker. Yeah, that's for one the of most them. part. And uh, I usually float back and forth between it, Wild Turkey, and uh, like Elijah Craig, mm -hmm. depending on how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know the Wild Turkey has a little more spice to it. The Knob Creek's a little more sweet, mm -hmm. toffee, whatever. So it's just whatever, whatever I'm feeling yeah. at the time. But yeah. It's good juice, man. Okay. I like it. So, man, why don't we go one more, one more pour on that? That that wasn't bad. I just just a quick little. They got to be a generous. Well, we'll do that. We'll we'll do that on, on the side. We'll, we'll yeah, do that on yeah, the side. So. I just uh, I like that though. That was good. <laughs> we'll get a little. Uh,